Hello, welcome back to Ministers of the New Covenant. Have you seen this news story? How supposedly misinformation convinced him to seek an island sanctuary and follow some guru who was preaching about how the COVID vaccine was the mark of the beast. They actually covered this on CNN. Listen for yourself. COVID has killed more than a million people in the U.S. since the start of the pandemic. It is currently the third leading cause of death in this country. And yet, since the beginning, many have chosen to embrace misinformation about the virus and vaccine. Randy Kay now has the story of one 20-year-old who's been missing for more than two years ever since he succumbed to the teachings of a conspiracy theorist and sought what he thought would be an island paradise. We were out of town. We came back from Chicago. He was gone. Abigail and John Danian haven't seen their son Isaac since September of 2020. That's when they say he ran off to Hawaii to follow his so-called guru. I've known about the end times for many years. That guru, Matthew Mello. He goes by the name Mordecai Eleazar on social media, including his YouTube channel, where he offers sermons about what he says is Satan's plan to destroy society and false claims about the dangers of the COVID-19 vaccine, which he calls the mark of the beast. Today, people don't even know what the mark of the beast is. Those who do still don't. They think it's an RFID chip or something of that manner. Mello had posted this recruitment video online, encouraging men to join him and sail to the South Pacific. 20-year-old Isaac Danian signed up. His parents say his mental health had worsened since the pandemic began and that he'd mistakenly come to believe the vaccine was the government's way of controlling the population. Even the COVID test scared him. He left behind this note for his younger siblings, warning them, do not get the vaccine or you won't make it to heaven. Schmidt says when he alerted local authorities about their arrival, Isaac and Abdul Rashad panicked about having to take a COVID test to enter. He says they did the unthinkable and suddenly jumped overboard. They were afraid of taking the COVID test as it being the mark of the beast. Now, they had gotten involved with uh, the guru. They were convinced that um, for sure that the PCR test had nefarious things inside, along with the vaccine. And the vaccine wasn't even really out. Schmidt says he called Wallace Island authorities for help and flagged down a fishing boat to search. He dive team searched the area for the men, but found nothing. I Randy, I mean, those poor parents, it's just, it's an impossible situation for them. A any idea where this so-called guru is? Uh, David Woolman of the New York Times, who wrote that article for the Times, he actually found him and spoke to him on an island in French Polynesia. He said he's still there uh, peddling his nonsense and talking uh, false claims about COVID-19. He's riding his bike around, uh, according to Woolman, handing out leaflets, telling parents not to get their children vaccinated, talking about the Illuminati, talking about the mark of the beast, talking about the mark of the beast, talking about the mark of the beast. Now, you might be asking yourself, why it is that CNN would cover a story like this in the first place. Why cover a story um, about the COVID vaccine being the mark of the beast when obviously we all know that that's ridiculous, right? Let me show you something. Do you know what the law of reversal is that Satanists have? The law of reversal means that they do everything in reverse. Even with the Ten Commandments, they have to break the Ten Commandments. That's all part of their religion. So in this case, covering um, a story and then acting like it's completely ridiculous. Well, if it's completely ridiculous, why cover it in the first place, right? Because in their kingdom, up is down and down is up. This is precisely why we see warnings on videos that we watch that cover certain topics again and again and again we will see warnings where they are kind enough to let us know what the truth is so when you see one of these warnings on uh some sort of a youtube video 
What does that warning tell you? Believe the opposite, because this is opposite world, right? They're giving you this valuable information and letting you know so that you wouldn't possibly be tricked. So instead, they make the way clear so that you can know exactly what the truth is. Isn't that nice of them? So just remember, this is backwards world that we're in right now. So what should you think when they come out and they let you know, hey, it's completely absurd. You look like a psycho with tattoos on your forehead if you believe that the COVID vaccine is the MOB, okay? You look like a complete psycho. What should that tell you the actual truth is? And if that isn't enough of a red flag for you, just look at all of the supposedly Christian pastors in our uh, world who have come out and told you it is completely safe and effective and it is not the MOB for you to take the vaccine. Listen to it for yourself in their own words. Reverend Graham, nothing's more important to you than saving souls. No. I want people to know that God loves them. He will forgive you and God will accept you into his presence. I want people to know that COVID-19 can kill you, but we have a, a, a vaccine out there that could possibly save your life. And if you wait, it can be too late. For us, scripture tells us to love our neighbor. And when I think about, about that in a practical sense, it means in this case to mask and to get vaccinated. I'm to love my neighbor as I love myself. That's what scripture says. And so for me, that means I love myself enough to stay safe. I love myself enough to get vaccinated and ma mask. And I need to do, I need to encourage others to do that as well. We're sharing information here and reminding folks vaccines are safe. We want to make sure you contact a doctor, the health department, or connect you. Um, it is so important to get good information. And, and is there anybody else you can pass on in your life and think about that? Like, do you have family or neighbors? And how can we equip you to have these conversations? Our, Our message to everyone is get vaccinated. We know that vaccine is the only uh, proven method right now that is keeping people alive, especially if they have to be hospitalized. It is those who are not vaccinated who are becoming so severely ill and many that are dying. And our message would be, if the vaccine is working to keep people alive, then get vaccinated. Making sure that everyone in Baltimore, especially in low-income communities, get the vaccine and information that is necessary to do so. The church leaders from the National Black Church Initiative gave their remarks at a park in Douglas Homes. They passed out a newspaper they put together called Back News, which answered questions about COVID, how it spreads, and how the vaccine can protect people. It also said that black doctors say COVID-19 vaccines are good and safe for black people. We plead with all those who are unvaccinated, given the deadly strain of the Delta virus, please, in the name of Christ, somebody say amen. amen. Please, in the name of Christ, somebody say amen. amen. Get vaccinated immediately. Hey everybody, Greg Laurie here answering the question, is the vaccine the mark of the beast? Ready for the answer? No. The vaccination clinic this weekend at Southern Baptist Church in Baltimore. More than 500 people registered. Irma Harris received her first shot, and she has a message for others who are maybe putting off getting theirs. It's wonderful, and those who haven't gotten your shot, please get your shot because it's, it's very important that we get our shot because we not only protect ourselves, but we protect those around us. First Baptist Church of Dallas is joining the vaccination movement, hosting a clinic on Sunday. Good morning to senior pastor, Dr. Robert Jeffress. Uh, first, are you vaccinated and why or why not? 
Yes, I am vaccinated. I got my first uh, vaccine in January and then followed it up with the second one. And look, Tim, we believe that uh, all life is a gift from God that needs to be protected. And that means life not just inside the womb, as pro-life people talk about, but it's also life outside the womb. And so we think it's an important thing for us to get vaccinated so that we can get back to normal as soon as possible. And certainly with the new CDC guidelines on masks, Vaccination is the quickest way back to normalcy for everyone, including churches. Isn't that interesting that we have our government entities who are all on board and coordinating with the rest of the nations of the world, who are also coordinating with all of our pastors, whether it be Catholic, whether it be uh, Protestant, whether it be conservative, supposedly like the Southern Baptist Convention, or whether it's um, more like Assemblies of God that are a little bit more liberal. They're all in line on this one topic, just in case you had any doubts. So this is just your reminder. Backwards world, guys, no, the mark of the beast is not the vaccine. That would be ridiculous, right? 